have another project for you today using my first kit from the Wild Hair Kits. Um, and I have my photo set off to the side and I'm just drawing a big circle. That is with my uh, Creative Memories cutting system. I actually end up using more, those cutting systems more like templates, kind of like what you just saw, and less like things to cut circles with. <laughs> How funny is that? So today with my kit, my um, main focus was the gorgeous set of die cuts I received from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection. The die cuts are beautiful and whimsical and I really wanted to use them, but they're very large. So instead of, I decided to go with, oh, I can't talk, let me start over. I decided to go with a white cardstock background and then I'm going to make the die cuts take center stage. I'm going to have the die cuts be a prominent fixture of this particular layout. And it will not distract, detract from my photo at all. My photo will be front and center as well. So this is a photo of my niece and it's taken at like a really kind of odd angle. So doing a circular layout like the one I'm going to do worked perfect for this particular photo. And I'm going to kind of put the photo at an angle. Now, I know from my kit that I have large die cuts from Maggie Holmes, and I have small bits, which is also from the Carousel Collection. But I decided that I wanted to fussy cut a couple of things for some medium uh, layers. So I knew I needed some, I've got some large, I've got some small, I need some medium. And I'm going to do get those medium mid-sized layers and die cuts simply by fussy cutting some flowers and birds from this gorgeous, gorgeous paper from uh, Dear Lizzie's Lovely Day Collection. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some splatters before I even start. I've already fussy cut my birds and my flowers and you can see those off to the side, but I want to add some gold. So this gold, it's going to look like I practically splattered the whole bottle on this circle. But don't fret because I'm going to cover up, oh my goodness, like 75 or 80 percent of this. So by the time the layout is finished, this there will just be little hints of all that gold. And I know it looks like a lot at first, but we needed a lot because I was going to cover up bunches of it. So the idea behind this layout is to use that circle that I drew with a pencil and pretty much cover it with die cuts. So that's the plan. Um, and my plan, what I wanted was definitely not to have to take an eraser to anything on this page. I wanted to be able to just totally cover all the pencil marks so you can't see them and have the die cuts um, kind of layer on top of each other. And I'm really excited to say that at the end of this layout, that's exactly what happened because I didn't have anything I needed to erase, which I'm super glad about because um, sometimes erasing those pencil marks gets to be... Um, a little bit tricky, especially when you've already splattered over top of them. So everything on this layout is getting some vintage photo distress ink, and you can see here I'm placing everything so that the die cuts really fill in that space, and they really do create that circle, and because I am focusing on those die cuts, I can use some of these big, big ones. So that sweet word is super cute. And you're going to see that on an upcoming layout that will probably be posted Monday or Tuesday of next week. So, and actually this one, I think, no, this one's going to go up on Saturday, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm kind of batch video <laughs> editing today and batch voiceovering. So um, I'm not sure when things are going to go live until uh, I get them uploaded and, and know when I'm going to make things live. So hey. Um, but you can see here how great a design like this works when you have these really large packages of embellishments. Just embrace those big die cuts and I decided that by doing a white cardstock background it wouldn't be too busy and I could really highlight all of them. So like this, this huge ice cream, so cute and I wanted, I love it. So I was really able to use these die cuts. So I'm just going through all of the die cut pack. I'm grabbing all the big ones. And to be perfectly honest, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the ones that are big and that I don't think I would use for 
um, something else. So, you know, there's a lot of these images are very whimsical and very um, amusement park, like the carousel zebra, and I'm going to add in the huge giraffe and different things like that. So really, um, I just wanted to grab all of these adorable things and make them work on this page. So they would be just ever so slightly random, but not really. Uh, so the giraffe, I wanted to use him so badly, and I ink him all up, and then the only part that you really see on the end of the layout is the top of his head, which is totally fine. I got to use it. It got on the page. So I'm going to lift him up a little bit because, again, like I did with the zebra, I want some of these die cuts to almost go to the edge of the page, as close as I can get them up to the edge, while still keeping it to my circle template that I've drawn. So I'm going to go ahead and add this tag. Now I'm just kind of like, this is, there's not much to say about this, I guess. I'm really just going through the die cuts, inking them up, finding the space that they work, and I'm just trying to go ahead and fill in that circle. So now, I don't really want those two zebras beside each other, but I need something like that. And fortunately, I found this lovely, lovely card that has a merry-go-round on it. So that works perfectly. And then I can slip that medium-sized flower that I fussy cut in, and I'm sorry that my head's in the way. <laughs> so this is going to be the basic layout. This is what we're basically going to do. All my die cuts are down, and now I'm just going to add a couple, a couple of last little touches. So I'm going to thread some black and white twine through this tag, and I'm going to add a little bit of curly cues in it and make sure that it's good and stuck down the way that I want it to be. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use some pop dots. I originally grabbed pop dots that were too thick. I wanted my thinner ones. So I'm gonna grab my thinner pop dots and I'm just going to give some dimension to some of the die cuts. And now I want something that's not paper. So these came in my kit. They're from the carousel collection. They're the embellishments. And I don't know why, but none of the sequins stuck to the glue dots. <laughs> so I'm going to start kind of fiddling with them and trying to get the glue dots to stick to the sequins. And then I'm going to give up and I'm going to go ahead and just grab my Zots Bling, which are amazing adhesive for sequins. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm also going to grab some of the Jaded Heart sequins that were in my kit from Spiegel Mom Scraps and I'm going to place them all around the layout. And so my idea for this is that you would be able to follow a line of those gorgeous shiny sequins from the photo and all the way around. And I'm gonna show you here in a bit. So see here, you can follow that line of sequins. Your eye can follow the sequins all the way around that circle. And I'm just choosing spot. I kind of used my finger there to figure out where I, else I might need a little cluster of sequins so that your eye will travel all around the page from beginning to end. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these pom-poms. So at first I thought I wanted lots of pom-poms and then I was going to put like five of these light pink ones on my page and what I actually ended up doing was just grabbing three and just creating um, a triangle of the pom-poms simply to um, for something different. So there is, and you can see there that that triangle goes right through my photo, which brings your eye right to the photo as well. So just some last minute little uh, sequins here because I felt like that lonely gold one at the top needed some friends. And that will complete this layout. I hope you have enjoyed my process here for this page, and I hope you will check out the wild hair kits. They're wonderful. They're not a kit club. You go, you can go in. Um, you can have um, fill out a style profile, curate a kit, and then you have the kit sent to you. And as often as you would like a kit, you can order a kit. So if you don't scrapbook a lot and you don't want kits piling up, you can do them one at a time every six months. You know, however you want. It's a wonderful, wonderful, innovative idea, and I hope you'll swing by the website and check it out. Bye!